Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I'll be your Gaming Monk for the evening. We're now on day three of the RPG A Day Challenge, and this day's word is engage. Now, some of you who've seen my work for the longest time may have noticed I don't do a whole lot of GM advice on my channel. The main reason why is, well, I could list a lot of things on what you're supposed to do as a good GM and what you're supposed to not do, and I could just be blowing smoke up your ass. The thing with GMing is that, one, nine times out of ten, I'm winging it. And when it comes to engaging, there's no set rule on how to do it. It's one of those things where you have to understand the it factor, and more importantly, you have to understand how to read the damn room. If you've got a bunch of people who like to snark and like to make references, don't try and minimize that or try and, sque or try and squeeze it out. You work around it. You work with it. If you've got a group of people who want to take the whole thing very, very serious, you work with that. It's about knowing the players that you're with and knowing how to feed them so that you have a kind of Pavlovian affair. It's kind of like a wrestler working the crowd or a comedian playing to an audience. It's just that the audience is also participating. To that end, if there's one thing I've had beaten into my skull since I started GMing all those years ago, it's this. And I've used this phrase before. A novelist is shorthand for a shit DM. Now that might seem a bit harsh, and, well, it kind of is. But the idea is that you are blue doing a lot of stuff on the fly. You are not trying to you're not trying to write some grand story. And this is one of the main reasons why I don't care for a lot of D&D streamers because they very much are. And that's not how the game is going to be intended to play and by giving people the bad advice, you're going to be setting them up for failure down the road. And I actually want more people playing this game instead of less. This is the reason I tend to be very hands-on when it comes to designing the characters that, pe that people want to play, as well as the setting itself. I'll be fully upfront when I'm going to be messing with stuff, and I have no illusion that I'm going to be adhering to source material unless it's for, like, a playtest, which I am not, not exactly a fan of. In that same regard, I'll encourage players to spitball ideas at me and say, well, maybe it can't work exactly that way, but maybe it can work like this. Maybe it can work like this. You know, trying to kind of find a middle ground. And I think in doing that, you end up demonstrating that the player's input is valued to the GM. A lot of GMs, especially that GM, have this grand idea on how things are supposed to go and don't like deviation from it. And again, I come back to that saying from before. A novelist is shorthand for a shit DM. You're not, an, you're not Tolkien. You're not Martin. Thank God. You're not, a, you're not a fantasy writer. You're a game master. You are director and referee. Not a novelist. If you want to be a, if you want to be a novelist, go write a novel. This is something that a lot of people don't seem to understand, and I think that's the reason why they don't engage with their uh, players. Because when it's just when it's just one person's grand idea, then that's not going to be interesting to the players. It's also the reason why I um, don't exactly have the highest opinion of rules lawyers. They're a necessary evil at best. And it's also the reason why I made that comment about John, about the name John Wick Presents. The games that I end up enjoying the most are the ones that encourage some degree of house ruling or give you examples or suggestions on how to tweak its setup. That's what I liked about 13th Age, that's what I absolutely adore about Fantasy Craft, and we'll get to that in a few weeks, and that's what I've loved about other games. As a final note, I'll say that the best way to engage your players as a DM is to not look at yourself as above them. At least not too above them. Obviously, we gotta have some level of a pecking order. Stay frosty!